Hi, this is Freedom from Condo Planet. I want to welcome you to another episode on real estate investing. Today, I want to address the question of should investors buy a second parking space from builders of Mississauga condos? Most pre construction Mississauga condos come with a single parking space and locker. However, with plenty of tenants looking for a second parking space, the question is is it worth it for you as an investor to buy one? Builders of Mississauga Square One condos are usually charging a premium of $20,000 to $30,000 for that extra parking space. Will you be able to recoup this amount when you sell your condo down the road? Our extensive research indicates this is not likely so. In fact, buying that second parking space can truly hurt your chances of making a profit on your investment. As an example of what we're talking about, let's look at the two bedroom condos that sold in 2014 in three Mississauga Square One condo buildings. If you look at all the two bedrooms that sold in 335 Rathburn Road West, 3504 Huron Ontario Road, and 4090 Living Arts Drive, all very popular Mississauga buildings, you will note that the units with two parking spaces are selling for a similar price and even less in some occasions than many of the units that have only one parking space. In other words, those investors that paid a $20,000 to $30,000 premium for that extra parking space lost that money from the sale of their unit. This amount is nearly 10% of the sale price and make, can make the difference between ma making a profit and losing money for many investors. The only circumstance in which it seems to make sense to buy a second parking space is if you plan to rent it out for long enough to make a profit on it. For example, if you bought an extra parking space for $23,000 and rented it out for $100 per month, it would take 230 months for you to break even on your investment. In other words, if you plan to hold the parking space for more than 230 months, you're okay, but that's over 19 years from now. I've simplified the calculations here to make a point, as I've not even considered the extra maintenance fees you'd have to pay for owning that extra parking space. The bottom line, however, is that it makes no sense to count on a break-even point of this length when it's nearly impossible for any of us to predict with certainty our plans for that long into the future. And that's why we at Condo Planet discourage our investors of Mississauga Condos for buying that extra second parking space. Doing so could kill the deal for you. And that summarizes our perspective on the issue. Thanks for tuning in. We look forward to hearing from you soon.